On December 14, in a press conference at the 2021 American Geophysical Union Fall Meeting, scientists announced that NASA's Parker Solar Probe became the first spacecraft to touch the Sun. Thomas Zerbakken from NASA said that Parker Solar Probe, touching the Sun, is a monumental moment for solar science and a truly remarkable feat. He added that not only we will be able to dive deeper into our Sun's evolution and its impact on our solar system, but also get to know more about other stars in the rest of the universe. Of course, when it comes to the Sun, it's debatable whether the term, to touch, can be used, since the Sun doesn't have a solid surface as Earth does. The Sun is actually a superheated ball of plasma, an aggregation state closest to gaseous, held together by gravity and magnetic forces. So when NASA said that the probe had, touched, the Sun, it actually means that it entered its atmosphere, the corona. NASA began its quest to reach the Sun some 60 years ago. The idea was to collect data which could help answering fundamental questions about our star. The Parker Solar Probe was launched in 2018. Since then, it has been orbiting the Sun coming closer with every round. Its main goal was to get data for studying the corona and solar wind in order to better understand how they affect Earth. Solar wind is a term for the flow of charged solar particles that escape the Sun's gravity by the help of rising heat and pressure and are released into space. The probe entered the outer atmosphere of the Sun, the corona, for the first time on April 28 and stayed inside for about five hours. The evidence that the probe was in the corona can be observed through magnetic field data, solar wind data, and even visually in images. The only known way to get a glimpse of how the sun works is to fly into the sun's atmosphere and collect some data. At first, the scientists didn't know where the exact boundaries of the corona lied, so they had to make a rough estimate. The calculation proved to be pretty accurate. The key instrument on the spacecraft is called the Solar Probe Cup, and it was designed by scientists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics to collect particles from the corona. Incredibly high temperatures in the region had to be taken into account. The device is made of chemicals like tungsten, niobium molybdenum and sapphire in order to withstand the heat. The probe has more work to do, and in 2025 it should approach the sun closer than ever before which would be 3.83 million miles away. Scientists hope that by the end of the probe's mission they will be able to answer a long-standing solar mystery. How can the corona be far hotter than the solar regions below it? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more facts.